towards the end, I think, of two, and if Mr Peter says it was four, it may have been more than two questions, that were certainly not helpful to the order of the House, as has been evidenced today. Question number two, Pasata Sam Lotawinga. Thank you, Mr Speaker. My question is to the Minister of Finance. What progress is the government making in its programme to build a more competitive and productive economy? Honourable Bill English. Mr Speaker, the economy is growing and we're making reasonable progress. The government has set out a wide-ranging programme to put the economy on a more competitive footing. In particular, we have embarked on more than 300 initiatives to build export markets, innovation, skills, capital markets, natural resources and improve infrastructure. Uh, this is helping to give business the confidence to invest and grow and hire new staff. In addition, sensible fiscal and monetary policy is helping to keep interest rates and inflation rates low. Supplementary question, Pasata Sam Lotawinga. Supplementary to the Minister, what do the latest statistics show about the economy's performance and what are the key factors driving this? Honourable Bill English. Uh, well, Mr Speaker, uh, one should always be use, uh, careful with the use, particularly of st economic statistics covering short periods of time. Uh, however, last, last week, Statistics New Zealand announced growth of 1.5 per cent in the December quarter. Uh, this growth was broad-based, with 15 of the 16 measured industries growing. What's probably more important than the quarterly growth rate, though, is the annual growth rate, uh, which showed that in 2012, New Zealand economy grew by 3 per cent, a bit faster than we might have expected, and fairly comparable to the Australian growth rate for the same period of 3.1 per cent, uh, at a time when they have a very significant uh, boom in capital investment in minerals and resources. Supplementary question, Pasata Sam. Further supplementary to the Minister. What independent reports has he received about the government's economic programme? and the progress being made to put the economy on a sound footing. Honourable Bill English. Well, Mr Speaker, there's any number of reports that uh, support the government's general economic direction, uh, but more recently uh, some comments in the IMF's latest concluding statement on New Zealand uh, were supportive. It concluded that the government's fiscal consolidation strikes the right balance between sustaining growth and limiting increase in government debt. This will reinforce the government's intention to stay on track to surplus in 2014-15. Uh, While there are risks with the global economy and the housing sector, the IMF says New Zealand is well positioned to respond uh, to any other unexpected events uh, through its monetary and fiscal policy settings. Supplementary question, Honourable David Parker. How can he claim pride in the performance of the economy when in December 2012 quarter, 23,000 jobs were lost, and in each of the last three quarters, total hours worked has decreased so that there is now less work than when he took office in 2008. Honourable Bill English. Uh, well, Mr Speaker, I think, as we've discussed in the House before, our quarterly employment numbers are uh, somewhat volatile, uh, difficult to predict. And it's difficult, it's difficult to know, it's difficult, it's difficult to work out exactly what's happening when in that quarter the economy grew by 1.5%, which is one, if you took it at face value, one of the fastest growing uh, quarterly rates in the developed world. Let's just, see how it, let's just see how it unfolds. What we do know is we're on track for 2 to 3% uh, economic growth over the next 12 months and further reductions in unemployment. Supplementary question for Santa Sam Lotawinger. Thank you, Mr Speaker. What reports has he received on particular sectors of the economy? Honourable, Mr. Honourable Bill English. Mr Speaker, uh, I've paid particu particular attention to reports on the manufacturing sector. Uh, excluding oil production, manufacturing grew by 1.5 per cent for the December quarter. And overall... And overall, through 2012, the manufacturing sector grew by 2.7 per cent. That is, it, 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 it grew by 2.7 per cent. So I was not surprised to see a report with the headline, Index shows no crisis in manufacturing sector. Uh, the facts, 
not for the first time the facts are somewhat at odds with what the opposition are claiming. Question number three, Grant Robertson. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. My question is: the Prime Minister does he stand by all his statements? <laughs> Quite honourable Speaking, Prime Minister. Yes. <laughs> Supplementary does he question, stand by, Grant Robertson. Does he stand by his statement that the Household Labour Force Survey is?